The hominoid includes all living apes and humans. Pongini is one subfamily which includes orangutans in Asia. DNA analysis suggests that all African and Asian descendants of hominoidae split from a common ancestor around 18.3 million years ago. This means some early hominoids migrated to Asia around that time. The oldest known ape fossils in South Asia date back to the Middle Miocene period, about 12.5 million years ago. These fossils have been found in the Siwalik region of Pakistan and India, as well as in Thailand. This indicates that great apes dispersed from Eurasia to East Asia just before 12.5 million years ago. There are two possible migration routes for these apes. One through South Asia into Southeast Asia for the ancestors of orangutans, and another through Eastern Eurasia to South China for the ancestors of Lufangpithecus. In this video, we are going to discuss the paleontological record of Asian great apes with a special focus on Shivapithecus. There are six recognized genera of Asian great apes, including both living and extinct species such as Pongo or orangutans. Gigantopithecus, Shivapithecus, Indopithecus, Kurapithecus, Lufangpithecus, and Ankurapithecus. Among these, orangutans are the only living genera. There are three species of orangutans today. Pongo abili from North Sumatra. Pongo tapanuliensis from North Sumatra. Pongo pygmaeus from Borneo. These species diverged around 3.38 million years ago during the Pliocene period. Fossil records show many ancient orangutans from the Pliocene and Pleistocene with larger teeth than today's orangutans. Over time, during the Middle and Late Pleistocene, smaller toothed species appeared. Several fossils from China and Vietnam indicate that Pleistocene orangutans were larger than modern ones but gradually became smaller over time, with the last large orangutans in South China going extinct about 110,000 years ago, and in northern Vietnam around 30,000 years ago. This size reduction likely coincided with the expansion of savannas and a decline in forests, impacting their evolution and distribution. Their extinction may have been due to habitat loss and human hunting. Shivapithecus is the most controversial of all Miocene apes. Views about it ranged from some calling it an ancestor of all hominines to it being simply an ancestor to Asian pongines. Initially, Ramapithecus and Shivapithecus were considered alongside early Miocene apes, such as Dryopithecus and Proconsul with Ramapithecus seen as a potential human ancestor and the others as proto-great apes. This view changed with new fossil discoveries and re-evaluation. Ramapithecus was merged with Shivapithecus. Various fossils of Shivapithecus have been found, including parts of the face, jaw fragments, individual teeth, and many bones from the body. There are three known species of Shivapithecus. Shivapithecus indicus is the oldest species, living between 12.7 and 11.4 million years ago. It was the smallest and least specialized of the three species. Shivapithecus civilensis lived from 11 to 8.5 million years ago. It was larger than indicus and had more developed teeth. Shivapithecus parvata is the largest species, known from fossils found in one specific location and dated to around 10.1 million years ago. It had very large front teeth. All three species showed significant differences in size between males and females, similar to modern apes. For example, male Shivapithecus indicus and Shivapithecus civilensis weighed between 30 to 50 kg 
while females weigh between 20 to 24 kg. In the case of Shivapithecus parvata, males were much heavier, weighing between 68 to 75 kg and females weighed between 30 to 45 kg. While Shivapithecus shares some great ape features in its hands, feet, and elbows, its shoulder and pelvis are more monkey-like. This suggests that Shivapithecus was more terrestrial compared to the predominantly arboreal orangutans. This difference hints that orangutans' extreme arboreal lifestyle likely evolved later in their evolutionary history. Shivapithecus had robust jaws and thickly enameled teeth, suggesting a diet focused on hard or tough objects, possibly supplemented by softer fruits. Its postcranial anatomy and paleoecology indicate a preference for woodlands, rather than dense forests like those favored by other early apes. The three known species of Shivapithecus lived between approximately 12.5 to 8.5 million years ago, with Shivapithecus indicus being the oldest and smallest, Shivapithecus civilensis the youngest and Shivapithecus parvata in between. Interestingly, Shivapithecus parvata is the largest of the species. Shivapithecus indicus includes both the face and jaw. This fossil shows several similarities with modern orangutans. For instance, its face is concave and oriented upwards, unlike the downward-facing faces of African apes and humans. Additionally, the eye sockets are oval and narrow, there is no brow ridge, the space between the eyes is very narrow, and the area between the nose and mouth is similar to that of modern orangutans. These features suggest a possible relationship with orangutans. However, the teeth and jaws of Shivapithecus are more robust and less specialized compared to orangutans. The way Shivapithecus moved is still debated. Its upper arm bone is curved like that of a baboon, which suggests it walked on all fours. However, the thigh bone indicates climbing behavior. Other bones suggest that Shivapithecus engaged in a mix of walking on all fours, climbing vertically, and moving around on branches, but did not swing from branches like modern orangutans. The hand bones of Shivapithecus suggest it walked on its knuckles, a trait also seen in chimpanzees and gorillas. Shivapithecus appears to be an early ancestor of orangutans, with a face similar to modern orangutans but with different jaws, teeth, and body structures. Modern orangutans are highly specialized for climbing and swinging from branches, with straight upper arm bones and curved finger bones, adaptations not seen in Shivapithecus. The last Shivapithecus fossils date back to around 8.5 million years ago, when the evergreen forests they lived in were replaced by grasslands. Paleontologist Elwyn Simons, along with his student David Pilbeam, simplified ape classification, believing these descended from a single fossil discovered at the Fayum, named Egyptopithecus. Simons and Pilbeam proposed that African apes were related to an African species called Dryopithecus from 22 million years ago. Ramapithecus was proposed as a human ancestor from the Middle Miocene, based on jaw fragments found in India. Simons noted several characteristics that linked Ramapithecus to humans. These included large molar teeth, a strong jaw, thick tooth enamel, reduced canines, and a parabolic dental arcade. Thick enamel helps teeth withstand strong bites and last longer, and reduced canines are a human trait that shapes the tooth row in humans to form a parabola, unlike other primates. Simons believed these traits evolved only once and identified Ramapithecus as a relative of humans. This idea was widely accepted, although some argued against it. However, in 1967 molecular studies suggested that humans and apes split from a common ancestor around 5 million years ago. This conflicted with the idea that a 14 million year old fossil from Asia 
could be a human ancestor unless it was also an ancestor of apes. Some asserted that no fossil older than 8 million years could be considered a human ancestor. This disagreement sparked intense debates leading to the discovery of many new fossils. This influx of new fossils revealed that there were many more Miocene apes than previously thought. New fossil discoveries from the Siwalik Mountains in Pakistan helped resolve the debate about human ancestry. Ramapithecus had been discovered in this region, so it was a natural place to search for more evidence. Mammalian fossil discoveries from the region indicated a forested habitat and nearly a hundred hominoid fossils, though many were small fragments. Initially, the fossils were dated to around 9 million years ago, later revised to 8 million years. This new date reduced but did not eliminate the gap between fossil evidence and molecular clock estimates. Three key fossils, initially assigned to Ramapithecus, showed features that challenged previous ideas linking Ramapithecus to humans. These fossils had straight tooth rows and large canines, which did not fit the expected human traits. In 1977, a nearly complete face and jaws of Shivapithecus were discovered. The face closely resembled that of modern orangutans, confirming a close relationship. This made it clear that Ramapithecus was not a human ancestor, but rather closely related to orangutans. Consequently, the name Ramapithecus was dropped in favor of Shivapithecus civilensis. Thick enamel, previously thought to be a unique trait linking Ramapithecus to humans, was found in other Miocene species from Asia and Europe, including Gigantopithecus. This trait was also present in modern orangutans, unlike African great apes. Researchers concluded that thick enamel was an ancient characteristic, not a unique human trait. With these new insights, the molecular clock method was fully accepted, and the fossil tree of human evolution was redrawn to reflect these findings. After new discoveries led to a revised understanding of human evolution, scientists reflected on what had gone wrong. One key error was misinterpreting the significance of thick tooth enamel. Originally, it was thought to be a trait linking certain fossils to humans, but it turned out to be an ancient characteristic shared by many species. Simons and Pillbeam assumed that the past looked like the present. They believed that, just like today, ape species were few and monkeys were abundant. This assumption led them to incorrectly match fossil apes one-to-one -one with modern species. However, it is now understood that during the early Miocene, apes were much more diverse and dominant, while monkeys diversified later. A significant misconception was the belief that humans are fundamentally different from other species, leading to the assumption that human ancestors had a long, separate evolutionary history. This made the idea of human ancestors existing 14 million years ago seem reasonable to Simons and Pillbeam. However, evidence shows that the gap between humans and their closest relatives, such as chimpanzees, is small in terms of anatomy, genes, and behavior. The study of molecular clocks and fossil records has provided significant insights into the evolutionary history of apes, particularly in relation to the divergence between humans and chimpanzees and the spread of various ape species across Asia and Europe. Initial molecular clock estimates place the divergence of humans and chimpanzees between 4 and 8 million years ago. This time frame is consistent with fossil evidence of early human ancestors dating back around 7 million years, indicating a close alignment between genetic data and paleontological findings. The evolutionary narrative of Asian apes suggests that apes originated in Africa during the late Oligocene and diversified significantly during the Miocene. This diversification, coupled with the warm climate of the Middle Miocene, facilitated the spread of apes to Europe, Central Asia, and South and Southeast Asia by around 12.5 million years ago. 
Notable fossils from this period include those of Shivapithecus, Lufangpithecus, and Kurapithecus. Gigantopithecus, the largest known ape, lived in subtropical forests in South China, Vietnam, and northern Thailand during the early Pleistocene. Weighing between 200 to 300 kg, this ape had large teeth adapted for hard foods like bamboo shoots. Its extinction around 300,000 years ago is likely due to habitat loss during glacial periods. Indopithecus giganteus lived approximately 8.6 to 8.85 million years ago in northern India and Pakistan. This giant ape, weighing about 150 kg, had large molars and a massive jaw, similar to Gigantopithecus. Geographic barriers may have led to its independent evolution. Indopithecus provides crucial insights into ape diversity and evolution during significant environmental changes. Lufengpithecus existed during the late Miocene in Yunnan province, South China, between 12.5 to 6.2 million years ago. These apes exhibited significant sexual dimorphism and were well adapted for climbing in subtropical forests. Their evolutionary relationship with orangutans remains unclear as they show both similarities and unique features. Kurapithecus, an ancient ape from Southeast Asia, lived during the Miocene in Thailand and Myanmar. It shared many traits with orangutans, suggesting a close evolutionary relationship. The evolutionary path from Kurapithecus to modern orangutans is obscured by a five million year gap in the fossil record likely corresponding to climatic changes that created isolated forest refuges. The rapid diversification of early pawn genes, including Shivapithecus and Kurapithecus in Southeast Asia points to significant evolutionary events. The transition to modern orangutans likely occurred in rainforest refuges during glacial periods. Additionally, the study of dryopithecids and their potential role as ancestors of African hominins suggests a complex interplay of evolutionary paths between Eurasia and Africa. Future discoveries are expected to fill gaps in the fossil record and clarify the evolutionary relationships among ancient apes, particularly the transition from early pond genes to modern orangutans. By examining fossil records and leveraging molecular clock estimates, scientists continue to unravel the intricate history of ape evolution, shedding light on the origins and diversification of our closest relatives.